this is the Attack on Titan mod in 10 minutes. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to customize your settings. Find the ODM gear controls in the controls tab in your settings and then find this pull to hooks button. This will allow you to pull towards the hooks on your ODM gear. You want to set this to something easily accessible. For me, this is one of the buttons on the side of my mouse. You're also going to want to find this key.toggle.thunderspears and change it to another easily accessible button. I will change this to another button on the side of my mouse. Now that you have your settings customized, we can move on to part 1 which is ODM gear. I chose to do this first because this is what most people want to know how to use. The items you are going to need are two gas cartridges, two handles, two blades, one three dimensional maneuver gear, and one belt. To put all of this in your inventory, you have to be in survival. When you're in survival, these two slots will appear on the side. First you have to put in the belt, then the three dimensional maneuver gear. At the top you will see a third tab, and in here you will shift in gas cartridges, the handles, and then you can place the blades in between the two handles. Now we are almost ready to use the gear. First we need to get the blades and handles into a sword. To do this all you need to do is press H. To use the ODM gear you have to have these in your hands. To use the gear you must first press Y to toggle it on and then you will press Q and or E to shoot the hooks. Now to pull to the hooks, you will use the button that was set earlier. For me, I set it as the button on the side of my mouse. Also with the gear, you can press F to toggle the super boost mode. And with this, you will be able to jump higher and run faster, but it will use up the gas cartridges more. I have a whole video covering this topic. If you want to check it out, there will be a link in the description or you can click the card at the top of the screen. Next we will be moving on to the clothes in this mod. Why I chose to do this second is because the army boots are important for when you're using the ODM gear. This will negate 50% of the fall damage taken. Other items are the hat, army leggings, and garrison jackets. These can all be put into your normal armor slots. All these other items that you see here will have to be put on the second tab at the top. They will be put in these five slots right here. For example, I'm going to put on this cape. And now that it's in here, you are able to toggle it on and off. Now we are going to move on to weapons. The first thing we are going to be using is the rifle. For this, you'll need the empty rifle, and then these bullets. To load the rifle, just shift right click, and now the rifle will be loaded. To fire it, you right click again. Next thing we'll use is the flare gun. With this, you have six different colored flares you can use. I will use the black flare. To load this, you will shift right click, and in here you'll see a slot. Only one flare can go in at a time. You can either click it in or you can shift click it in. And to fire it, you will right click. The next weapons I will be showing are the cannons. This includes the cannon and the mobile cannon. The ammo for this is the grape shot and the high explosive shell. The first thing I will show how to use is the cannon. To aim this, you will just right click and just move around your mouse. Once you find a good position you want it to be in, you will left shift and you will dismount. To load the cannon, you will hold the ammunition and then you will go up to it and shift right click. Now that it is loaded, to launch it, all you will need to do is shift right click again. The mobile cannon is similar, but this one you are able to move with the WASD keys. Once you have it in the position that you want, left shift off. To load the ammunition, you will shift right click. And then to fire it, you will shift right click again. The next weapons I will be showing how to use are the sword and the knife. 
We have already seen this sword because of the ODM gear. And this is like any normal sword in Minecraft. The knife is the same. You use it to stab. The final weapon I will be showing is the Thunder Spears. To do this, you'll go into your inventory and go into the third tab at the top. From here, you'll shift click these in. They'll go into these two slots right here. To use them, you'll toggle on the ODM gear again with Y. Now to change to the Thunder Spears, you will push the button that was set earlier. For me, it was one of the buttons on the side of my mouse. Now that we have them in our hands, to fire them, you simply need to right click and or left click. To switch back to the swords, you will press the same button that you pressed before. Now we will be moving to the survival aspect. If you do play this in survival, I suggest getting the just enough item mod. With this, you can click on the item that you want to know how to craft and it will show you how to craft it. The first survival thing I will be talking about is the Ice Burst Stone. In survival, you will find this randomly generated throughout the world. If it's exposed to too much heat, it will explode. The same with these shards that you will get if you mine the Ice Burst Stone with the Iron Pickaxe. To carry these shards, you will need a special container so they don't explode. This special container is the Ice Burst Canister. To use this, you will hold it and shift right click. And here you have 10 slots for the shards. In order to make this canister, you will need this ultra hard steel ingot. And to make this, you will need a blast furnace, obsidian, iron ingot, and lava bucket. You will put these items into the furnace, shift clicking the lava bucket, it will go into the very left slot, and then the obsidian will go into the top slot and the iron ingot into the bottom slot. Now it will take one obsidian and one iron ingot and turn it into the ultra hard ingot. This does take a while. You can also make reinforced diamond. You will follow the same process but instead of obsidian you will use diamond and instead of iron ingots you will use ultra hard steel ingots. Now that you are able to make the ice burst canister, when you fill it up, you will need to empty it into this evaporator. This evaporator will evaporate the shards and send it into this gas tank. This gas tank will be used to fill up gas cartridges. I have this ice burst canister here and I'll just shift click it in and immediately the machine will start evaporating the shards. Now you can take a gas cartridge and hold down right click on the machine. And that is the main gist of the survival aspect of the mod. I have a survival let's play on this. If you want to check it out, click the card at the top of the screen or check the link in the description below. Some miscellaneous items that didn't really fit in the other categories are first, the wall. The wall is made from obsidian and stone. This is harder than obsidian and it can be mined with this reinforced pickaxe. I will put this on 4 times speed. The next thing I will show is the glowing ore. I have yet to see this but I would assume that it spawns randomly in survival. To mine this you will just use the pickaxe and you will get this glowing ore rock. With this glowing ore rock, you can either make four of them in this grid to craft the block again, or you can use it to craft this lamp. When you hold this lamp, it will give off light. You can't see it right now because it's daytime, but when it's nighttime, it will give off light. The final part of this mod that I want to show is this Titan injection. As of yet, it doesn't do anything except for a few effects. To inject it, you right click, you will be given these four effects and then you're struck with lightning. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this useful and if you have any comments or questions just leave it into the comment section below and if you like this video you can like it and maybe share it with your friends and yeah maybe consider subscribing. Bye!